Hi, my name is Seth Westfall. I'm the uh, director of golf here at Carencia Golf and Beach Club in uh, beautiful San Jose del Cabo. And uh, today we're going to talk about a little putting drill that you can do uh, at home or here on the course. This is called Around the World Putting. We're stealing the name from a very popular basketball game we probably all played as kids. And uh, the goal is, is essentially the same. We're going we're gonna to hit some putts from some pre-constructed uh, areas. And the idea is to uh, create a circle of here, a circle where you feel very comfortable hitting into. So what I've done is uh, we've got an old cup here and I went ahead and set some tees in the ground there so we know where it is. We don't have any cups in the ground today, so I apologize. And then outside of that, at uh, three foot intervals in uh, essentially a pure square, I've set uh, some other tees. Uh, I've used my putter to measure that three feet. My putter is 33 inches. Most people's putter is 34, 35 inches. So you can do your putter plus two inches. You don't want to set this too far to start with at least. Uh, the idea here is really to create an area that you can hit into so that when I'm hitting that 50, 60 foot putt, our greens here at Krentz here are very large and undulating. So that happens once in a while. When I'm hitting that 50 or 60 foot putt, I know all I, do, all I have to do is get it within an area of six feet uh, and I'm going to feel pretty comfortable about making my next putt. So this is called Around the World. And what you do, and I like to set mine up. This green has a little bit of a slope, slope back towards me here. And I like to set mine up so I have an uphill, uh, a fairly straight uphill putt, a fairly straight downhill putt, and in this case, a right to left putt and a left to right putt. And that kind of, it, it helps as you work around it. It actually helps train. And by the way, there's a great one for children uh, for training them on breaks. And they're going to recognize pretty quickly that certain putts are straight, certain putts break, and, and they, they'll just intuitively figure this out. So it's a wonderful drill for that. And um, the way to start this drill for children or if you're a beginning golfer would be to go ahead and stroke, stroke a putt from one spot and then work around, uh, work around until you've, you've made all of them. As you progress a little bit more, um, we know that there's a certain amount of pressure when you're on the golf course, whether it's pressure to make a low number, uh, pressure to not make a high number, which does happen once in a while. Um, and so we want to recreate that in our practice. So in this case, we're going to recreate that by um, going ahead and, and trying to make all these putts in a row. And like around the world in basketball, sometimes if you, if, if you don't make a putt, then you have to start over again. So I would set up here. I would go ahead and I would roll my putt. Okay, I made that one. Next putt, made that one. If I were to miss a putt, then I would need to come back, reset, and start at the first again. So this way I'm building pressure as I move around and roll my putt. I'm building pressure up, pressure up, pressure up until hopefully, you know, I, it, I beat it, I beat the game. Now, let's assume that you're a good player and three feet around the world becomes very simple. You can move to two balls, where you have to hit two balls in a row, or you have to go around twice, or you can move the tees back. I wouldn't suggest anything outside of five or six feet, um, because let's be reasonable, the chances of making a ton of putts outside of five or six feet in a row, unless you're winning a PGA Tour event this week, is, is fairly low. But you can make this as tough as you want as you go around, and the idea being that, again, you're putting pressure on yourself in a positive way to get better and better. And that's the same pressure you'll feel out there, whether it's over a $2 NASA or something, uh, something a little bit larger on, on the course. And that's key to your practice element. To just practice uh, in a very lackadaisical uh, way is not necessarily helpful to the golf course because when you're out there, you may not be a lackadaisical player. So it's important that you go ahead and give yourself a little bit of pressure here and that way it'll translate out there a lot better. Again, round the world putting. Um, please give me a call or an email if you have any questions about that. And uh, enjoy. Become a better putter with just a little bit of practice, a little bit of time. Thank you.